Welcome to episode 72 of Inside 300, catching you up on Disney Park News in just 300 seconds. I'm your host, Brian Perry. Our lead story is the small fire that took place at the Magic Kingdom on Tuesday night. The shock of guests on Main Street USA, emergency vehicles made their way from Town Square up to Cinderella Castle, forcing everyone onto the small sidewalks as if a nighttime parade had returned to Orlando for the first time in five years. The cause of the fire was a small fuse box located near the castle, and the flames and smoke were quickly extinguished by cast members before the firefighters could even reach the scene. Fire personnel did treat a security guard who had inhaled dry chemicals from a fire extinguisher. This all took place around 6.45 p.m. on Tuesday as the day at the park was slowly winding down. One of the famous aspects of the Magic Kingdom is the park's utilidors, which are constructed below the park's surface. The tunnels run to each area of the Magic Kingdom, but aren't big enough to house an ambulance or fire truck. The fire is still under investigation. Toontown may be doomed town in 2022, as the area over in Disneyland is set to close for a lengthy refurbishment. But before it does, Disney's giving guests the opportunity to rent out Mickey's house for a small fee. That's right, the boss, the big cheese, the leader of the club who's made for you and me has joined Airbnb, kind of, sort of, and is allowing you to pay $350 to party it up in his house, located in the back of Toontown at Disneyland. Now keep in mind, Mickey and Minnie will probably be spying on you at all times, so don't get too out of control. Here's what Disney had to say regarding the new offering. During this festive 90-minute gathering at Mickey's house for up to 10 guests, you and your loved ones can take a group photo with Mickey Mouse and receive complimentary downloads of Disney Photo Pass digital photos. You don't get the printed ones. No, that's, that's too much money, I guess. You can also decorate cupcakes. You can participate in hands-on crafts and games designed to delight little ones and grown-ups alike. And you also will get quicker entry to the beloved Gadget's Go Coaster. No, not Rise of the Resistance. Listen, $350 is actually a pretty good deal if you get a full party of 10 to chip in. Then you're talking $35 a person to have an absolute Animal House Project X old school party in the 93-year-old mouse's house. Like I said, he's probably spying on you, though, so I'm assuming there are guidelines that would prevent you from having your party get too out of hand, but it would still be a cool story to tell your grandchildren. The experience takes place beginning January 19th, and guests can book it through the beginning of March. We have counted down 40 videos in our 50 for 50 series where we reveal our picks for the top 50 attractions in the history of Walt Disney World. Episode 8, which came out this last weekend, broke down rides 15 through 11 to learn about the history and find out where Rock and Roller Coaster, the Osborne Lights, Carousel of Progress, Kilimanjaro Safaris, and Big Thunder Mountain Railroad ended up on the countdown. Click the link above for episode 8. This weekend, we begin the top 10 with an episode focused on rides 10 and 11. Finally, we have a trio of funny videos we want to show you. We'll start with this new trend on TikTok for all you kiddos to try the next time you're at Disney's Animal Kingdom. We've seen plenty of dancing videos, and we'll get to one in a little bit, but how about this one, this trend of eating Expedition Everest trains? Yep, there it is. <laughs> I tell you, the things, the things that entertain us these days. All right, to the next one. This one's resurfacing after a few years. We see former President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle dancing with a few Star Wars characters. R2-D2 and a pair of stormtroopers start getting down to some Bruno Mars in the funny video that has now found second life on TikTok. And finally, check out this one. A pair of stormtroopers were forced to watch a guest display his lightsaber abilities for the camera at Galaxy's Edge. And I think it's fair to say that one of these stormtroopers was not very impressed. 
That's going to do it for this episode of Inside 300. If you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe. Click that bell icon. This way you're notified every time we come out with brand new content. I've been your host, Brian Ferry, and I will see you next time. As always, bye-bye.